Hello everyone. I continue to be grateful for your patience, prayers, and pursuit of spiritual growth, personal development, and neighbor love during this season of lockdown. There is much sadness and heartache across our nation. Some of you, my brothers and sisters, have faced loss or you've come close to it. Others of you know people who have lost someone or come close to it. This is a grief that truly connects all of us, not just in the church, but across the nation and around the world. Every day, though, brings encouraging signs in the right direction. Stories of people beating the virus. Just yesterday, a woman of 106 was released from Birmingham City Hospital, where she'd been sick with it for three weeks, and there are many other stories like that. Researchers continue to grow in their understanding of this terrible sickness, and every day brings us closer to treatment, prevention, and we pray eradication. In our own congregation, several have been sick with something or other, and are now well and on the way to recovery. At our prayer gathering last Friday, it was so good to hear our sister Leone, just home after being sick and hospitalized with, according to the doctors and the scans, COVID-19. We praise God that in many ways her vitals, progress, and even test results confounded those who were treating her. And we pray the same for others in that situation. No, the lockdown has not been ended, but I have prayed that it would not end until we as a church and as Christian individuals have learned the lessons God has for us. It may irritate some of you that I would pray such a prayer, but perhaps your irritation would be better directed at those sins God is warning you about, those rebellious character traits He is working to sanctify, those areas of spiritual dullness or passivity and procrastination concerning the gifts he is prompting you to exercise and, and, and the callings he's, he's urging you to pursue through this season. Stop dreaming wistfully about things going back to normal because really normal is, is rubbish compared to what God has for you. You shouldn't settle for it. God is erasing the normal and doing a new thing. Although the lockdown is projected to continue, uh, there are glimmers of hope that it will begin to be relaxed in early May. And what that means for us, we cannot entirely be sure, so I'm reticent to, to put a date for it or get your hopes up. But um, uh, do please pray for your elders and deacon as we prayerfully think through our own action plan and exit strategy from the lockdown. Speaking of prayer, it's been encouraging to be joined by a number of people each week for our Zoom prayer meetings. Please join us for this time. We will meet again tonight at 7 o'clock, and I'll circulate a Zoom link later as I've done each week. Some of you may prefer it would be like this all the time. Why can't we always just do church like this? I'm sorry, but online gatherings are a poor, if for now necessary, substitute for God's design for the local church. Now, some of you also may fall on the opposite side of that. It's a poor substitute, yes. So you're actually dismissive of the opportunity and don't attend. Might I urge you, to see the potential of this moment and the urgency of corporate prayer and the blessing of technology that allows us to have a digital gathering to mitigate the, um, the sorrow and loss of being unable to meet together physically. Uh, we're able thereby to minister to one another emotionally and to update one another as to how we can best pray. If I may illustrate it, uh, under the terms of the lockdown, you might not be able or allowed to visit your mom, but I hope you still call her. Do continue to watch the online sermons. Do share them on social media, by email and text. 
do continue to encourage one another. Do give online. It will not please God if after this has calmed down, we are distracted by a precarious financial situation that distracts us from ministering to one another and our community or prevents us from keeping our financial obligations and commitments. All of that, uh, I hope, is, is helpful and um, clarifies things. God bless each of you and keep each of you through this difficult season.